really did not think out this jumper choice today. Um, <laughs> I really blend in with my background right now, but you know what? We're here. Let's just get on with the video, shall we? <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Hi, hello there, how are you? <laughs> my name is Kiriel, and today I am, once again, very excited. Today is another palette review. It has been like the month of palette releases, okay? But this one in particular, I was very excited for, aside for the Shane Dawson one as well, I was very excited for this palette launch. I'm of course talking about the brand new Tati Beauty palette. This is the box that it came in with her beautiful face just staring back at you. <laughs> She's launched her own makeup brand and the first ever product was a eyeshadow palette. When I saw this online, I kind of freaked out a little bit because there was glitter. <laughs> and as soon as I saw the glitter, I knew I had to have it. I knew I didn't even have a choice in the matter. It was in my bones. I needed to click purchase and uh, the rest is history. So for this video, I've done two looks. I've tried out pretty much all the formulas in this baby so I can give you a more rounded review. I have also used this in my personal time. I wore this to go see the Christmas lights turn on and it was magical. My eyes glistened in the Christmas lights and I was very, very happy. <laughs> so the palette is available on tattybeauty.com and thank God it actually ships to the UK and also taxes is included. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't even want to think about any tax that was going to be added on top, so I'm so glad that she managed to be able to include everything with the shipping. The shipping and tax together came to around $9.80, I think it was. The actual palette in itself is $48. That converted to UK pounds is £38.63. So this is not a cheap palette. It is on the higher end. Obviously her brand is newly established, so would we call it an indie brand? I guess we would. Their prices tend to be higher because of production and everything like that. The outer packaging is soft matte and as you can probably see I already have a load of fingerprints on it. That is one downside to this kind of packaging but it does feel very nice. <laughs> this is just the sleeve. It has the embossed Tarty Beauty logo and it's a shiny kind of finish and then on the front it says about the different formulas, weights and then on the back it also has the ingredients and things like that. This is cruelty free and vegan also which is great and then you take it out of the sleeve and this is what the actual palette looks like. Got the same logo but it's in a gold and I really really like that. I feel like it looks expensive and it also feels expensive as well. We also have volume one so we can assume there's more to come. Not that we were thinking she was gonna slow down anytime soon and this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Oh. As you can see, it's got a massive ass mirror on it. I'm gonna bend this back so you guys don't get blinded throughout the whole video. And yes, this mirror does bend all the way back. It does take a little bit of wear for it to fully bend back, so mine isn't fully there yet, but I'm sure if you keep doing it, it will eventually be able to be completely bent back and flush to the palette. And this is what the inside looks like. So the way this is set up is kind of different for an eyeshadow palette. On the side here we have the finish of the row and then each row has its own kind of color story. We have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura and poet and as you guys can see they're all the same tone but in a row and I actually quite like that I think it's different and it kind of makes it easy to say you know I'm going in the matte shade from the ritual row like you know it makes it kind of simple so as I said there's four different finishes in here we have glitter metallic sequin and matte and you could probably see why I was drawn into this palette so quickly look at this row I mean this looks like glitter heaven to me. It is so gorgeous. And also I was really intrigued by the sequin. This was the only kind of formula that I was actually concerned about when first seeing the palette. It kind of reminded me back in the day when you'd get a eyeshadow palette from like Sleek or something, not to call it Sleek, but it's just the first thing that came to my head. But you'd get a matte palette, but in fact there was actually shimmer inside the mat and you'd get glitter flex over you. That's the kind of thing that I was like expecting looking at these but in person there is so much more shimmer in them and it's more apparent that it's supposed to be a glittery shade, not a matte with shimmer in it. It's supposed to be glittery. But yeah, I feel like I've talked a lot about this palette already and we haven't even started this video. <laughs> but I just wanted to run through my kind of initial thoughts on the palette. Without further ado, we are going to be going through swatches and I'm going to show you two different eye looks in this video. Maybe you're getting a sneak peek of one already. I don't know. 
if you're excited and into this palette please leave a thumbs up on this video so I know I love playing around with glitter and things like this okay this is my jam so if that is your jam too then why not subscribe all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload I'm literally like a magpie anything sparkly I am attracted to it and I want to put it on my face <laughs> but anyway without further ado I'm really excited to show you the looks so let's get right on into it okay so I'm gonna start off from the lightest the darker so we'll start off with the aura rope this is the matte shade which you're not probably gonna be able to see that much on my skin tone it's a little bit more pinky than my skin tone there here is the sequin shade such a beautiful shimmer that is then we've got the metallic from the row swatches amazingly and then finally we have the glitter isn't that swatch crazy for a glitter like, that's just insane so that's the aura row okay so the glitter was a little bit chaotic to remove off my arm and it's kind of gone a little bit everywhere so i think what i'm going to do instead is just swatch all the glitters by themselves at the end but we'll go through the other stories first now we have the soothe row those metallics are so buttery. That's the tone for the Soothe Row. Just managed to scratch my arm up, so don't mind that. <laughs> now for the Ritual Row. This is the Story Row. The Poet Row. That is so creamy. And then finally we have the memory row. This metallic feels a little bit gritty compared to the others, but wow, that is beautiful. All right, so let's finally do the glitters. We have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and then finally we have poet. And that is all the glitters, they are insane. <laughs> Alright, so I just primed with my P. Louise base as per usual. Let's move on to these shadows. I'm so excited for this palette. This is what she looks like. She is beauty, she is grace. I'm about to put it all on my face. Um, <laughs> okay. This is like so heavy. It feels like really good quality. Okay, I think the first shade I want to go into is going to be... <laughs> Let's go in with Soothe looks decent pigment wise and there's a tiny bit of kick up but barely anything you see but there is not a lot of kick up in the shade tapping out the creases and let's get to try in the shade okay so as you can see i'm kind of using like a little packing brush and this one isn't crazy try building this a little bit more oh that's a lot better. <laughs> Obviously this palette is quite neutral, so I'm not going to be going crazy with colour or anything, but there are some pretty tones in here, so we shall see what I can come up with. This is like super blendable. Wow, that was so easy to apply. <laughs> I feel like this colour with the Aura sequin shade would be such a nice everyday throw on with like a little bit of glamour you know i think the shades in here speak very much to the kind of daily glamour kind of girl you know still just building this soothe color it's gonna deepen up the outer corner with the ritual matte Ooh. okay don't quite know what's happening there let me just get a more fluffy brush and try blending that. Oh, so much better. <laughs> I think it's just the brush I was using was not blending that very well. Just building up this colour a little bit. They almost have like a little bit of a sheen to them. They're not completely flat matte. They have a tiny little subtle sheen. I, th I think you can kind of see the reflect as I turn my head. It's got a slight skin-like feel to it, which I appreciate. Some people may not like that though because it can kind of reflect the like folds in your eye and things. Give a look to the side here. You can kind of see it like reflecting on my skin a little. They blended really nicely though and they look nice on the lid. It's just something to note. <laughs> now I think I want to use a metallic. I'm gonna use the metallic from the Poet row. The purples are just speaking to me. I really want to try them right now. Okay, so it picked up on the brush decently. Let's see how it applies on the lid. Ooh, that is such a pretty shade. Oh, yes. This is with a brush. It's not wet or anything. Oh, man, that is nice. 
okay. Obviously if you want a more foiled kind of look, you could probably go in and wet it and make it look more foiled. I may try it with my finger as well because I haven't felt these eyeshadows yet and I really want to. <laughs> Such a pretty creamy formula, oh my gosh, okay. That is beautiful. It has almost like an orangey, burnt coloured base to it and it's got the pop of purple and then it also has kind of like a blue reflect. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera but it has a blue shift to it. It's beautiful. Okay, um, now what? <laughs> I really want to try one of the sequin shades as well so I think I'm going to go over the top with the Poet sequin shade as well. I'll probably merge it out towards the other mattes and see how that looks on the eye. I'm just going to try applying that with my finger and see what happens. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. I'm just going to try tapping this on the lid because it's got glitter. I don't want to fluff it everywhere. I want to have control with it. So I'm just going to try it with my finger to apply it. Oh, It's got such like a nice base to it. Can you guys see that glitter? Oh, so pretty. I do have a little speck of fallout here and there, but nothing crazy. I love that glimmer. Oh man, it's so different. I kind of want to sprinkle some more glitter over there though. <laughs> Just going back in with Suze and I'm just going to go around the edges by here just roughly just to bring in a little bit more structure to the look. I'm literally just playing around here guys. <laughs> so I had no idea what look to do so I was just like meh, just shove it on. <laughs> I'm going to try packing on that sequin shade with a brush and see if it brings any more glitter to the look. Ooh hoo hoo, yay. Great stuff, let's see how it applies. I'm just pulling this over the metallic. Wow, I love that shade. It's such a, like a deep cranberry. It is beautiful. And to get rid of the harsh edges, I'm literally just tapping and it's blending. I'm not buffing or anything. I'm literally just tapping and it's blending out. This is insane. Okay, so the sparkle is definitely there, as you can probably see, but it's not as glimmery with the brush. It just kind of not fluffs away, but it's almost like lost under the pigment, if that makes sense. Okay, now what I think I want to do is use the matte black from the memory row. This black has a little bit of kick up in it and I didn't really press that hard. I'm just going to like press this up against my lash line and see how that looks. That was easy. <laughs> this black is so easy to control. It doesn't fluff anywhere. There was no fallout or anything. I think I actually just want to buff it out a little bit. So, so far, I think this look is pretty, but I do feel like I want to deepen the outer corner a little bit. Going back into Ritual with a little bit of a heavier hand. We'll see if we can blend this out. So as you can see there, I've just kind of messily laid down the color and I'm going to take my blending brush and see if we can blend this. These are really effortless shadows. You don't really have to be too afraid to use them. You saw kind of how messy I just put that down. And then I've just like blended it out and it's just, just done it so seamlessly. Now I'm gonna take the matte aura shade and I'm gonna put this underneath my brow bone. Just because I'm playing with glitter and I don't really need a shimmery brow bone. <laughs> That's like my skin tone shade pretty much. Perfect, that's great. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that on a brush and just buff over the edges and just smooth the blend a little bit more. Beautiful. I love this so far. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Aura Metallic and put it in the inner third of my eye just to lighten this up a little. Just really trying to like open up the eye in the inner corner a little bit. Just taking it slightly higher than my crease. Okay, this is amazing so far. It looks so freaking good. I do just want to take the purpley colour up a little bit higher. So I'm going to take the matte poet shade and just brush that through the crease a little. I literally just took the tiniest little dot just to kind of warm up the crease colour a little bit. Wow these are so easy man. I feel like I can layer these and if I don't like the colour I can adjust it and this is uh, such a nice formula. Okay now is the million dollar question. What glitter do I use? <laughs> so many options, and I want to use them all, but I can't. <laughs> what color would be best? Um, maybe Aura. It has like green and all sorts of color in Aura. I think we're gonna go with Aura. Okay, this is probably a bad idea, <laughs> but I'm first of all gonna try it with a brush and see what happens. <laughs> so it has actually picked up pretty 
easily on my brush and now where do I put it? I think I'm gonna do it in the center just that's what I'm feeling. I'm just gonna wanna pat it oh my lord <laughs> just kind of sparsely patting this on and this is absolutely beautiful and it's all come off my brush I'm impressed so far but I do also want to touch it so I'm gonna go in with my fingers now <laughs> Ooh, that I literally just tapped in lightly I didn't even rub into the glitter and that's what's come up on my finger okay I'm just gonna tap this on <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> I could just keep going. There is still some left on my finger, but the majority of it went on my lid. I have like two specks of glitter on my face. That's it. I'm gonna kind of flick off some of the glitter in the crease, just because I don't want it too like sparkly there. Okay, I'm just gonna go over this black, just to see if we can cover up any of the specks a little. It actually works pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead, do my other eye, come back and then finish up the lower lash line. So I'll just be right back. All right, so I've done a quick base. Please ignore my brows and my under eyes. My under eyes are looking so dry today and also my brows are just all over the place as per usual. <laughs> so let's finish up this eye look. I'm gonna dip into the Poet Matte Shade again and I'm going to put this right by the lash line. Today it's making my eyes look very blue, which I'm kind of living for. I'm gonna take a little bit of Soothe and I'm just gonna blend out the edges and blend it into the outside area on the top so it's all seamless. I think if I was to pick one word to describe this palette, that would be it, seamless. Everything just goes together so well. I want to try something a little bit different on the inner corner on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the metallic from the story line and put this on the inner corner. This may be a mistake because it's a completely different color story to what's currently on my eyes but I really just want to try it out and it's such a pretty color so fingers crossed it looks okay. okay it's not showing up as metallic on my lower lash line there. I'm gonna try building it up a little bit more. It's a little bit better, but it's still not crazy metallic in my eyes. I'm just gonna go over it with the Aura shade to lighten it up a little. This is truly one of my favorite shades out of the whole entire palette. Ooh, let's make kind of like a rose gold color now. That is pretty. I'm gonna take the tiniest tab of the black. And I'm gonna place it right along the lash line just to deepen it up a smidgen. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish up the other eye, put on some lashes, and then we'll look at the overall final look. And then we'll move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so I decided to go without lashes for this one. I don't know why, I just felt like it's glamorous, but soft enough to go without lashes. I didn't feel like I needed them to complete the look. So I decided not to. And that is my prerogative. <laughs> I really love how this one came out. I love the purple, it worked so well. The pigment was so good and the different textures that you get to play with is so fun. <laughs> like at the moment I'm looking at this palette and thinking I can do a neutral look but add some glitter and that's like what I want, you know? But I love this kind of vampy, glam kind of look going on right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into the second look. Hi, um, this is actually a different day. Um, it was really late on that day when I started filming so I did not have enough time to film another look But I'm excited to do another one with this palette this time around I really want to play with the memory row so the really deep dark row and I want to do a smoky eye Prime with a little bit of concealer because I'm pretty sure I used the P. Louise base before and I like to try it with both I'm just using what's left of my Tarte Shape Tape. I made a real mess with that application, okay. <laughs> I wanna play around with the story line. I don't know if I like the tone of the matte. It's very much like a tomato-y, rusty kind of color. To me, it's a little bit of a weird tone. <laughs> I wanna try it, because I wanna see what it looks like on the actual lid. Whoa. Mm. Very pigmented. The little bit of kick up in the pan, and I've gone in with a very light hand with that color as well. I'm gonna Put this just above and throughout the crease and we will start this smoky eye. Something about the tone of this color that I'm just not like stoked about. I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's blended out really easily though and it's very pigmented. I've literally got barely any product on my brush. So easy to blend. I feel like these shadows are so user friendly. Like as you guys can see, I used a very light amount of that powder but it blended out so easily and I could get a wash of color instead of it being too overwhelming with pigment. I have a feeling these are very buildable. 
Yeah, look at that. It's so easy to build. Then it blends out really easily as well. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Soothe Matte and just blur out the edges a little bit though. So also kind of change the tone a little bit and bring it more to like a neutral kind of shade, I think. Okay, now we have that laid out. I wanna start deepening things up a little. So I'm now gonna go in with the Ritual shade and we're gonna deepen up the crease and start to get some depth. Now that I've placed it down, I'm gonna go in with this brush again and blend out the edges. Now, I think out of the whole palette, this shade is the one I'm having a little bit of trouble with, just blending wise. Like it is very pigmented and it looks pretty, but I'm finding it a little bit of a struggle to blend. Just takes a little bit more work than the other shades that I've already used. Just gonna go back over it with the story color and hopefully blend it out a little bit easier. You guys see the like harsh line I'm seeing? I don't know man, what's going on? Gonna try going in with a different brush and seeing if I can build and blend a little bit better. Okay, I definitely think it applied better with this brush. Definitely got the depth and blend going on now that I want. Okay, that looks so much better. I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of the matte aura shade just underneath the brow bone and just blend it in to this transition shade just to help it all blend together. Okay, so now I wanna deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Memory, which is the black. <laughs> And I'm gonna start deepening up the inner and outer corner and also the crease, but I'm gonna leave the center part blank so we can apply the beautiful sequin shades in the center. So let's get to blending. This black is so rich in pigment. It is so good, but it's still a blendable shade. It's a really good black. And then I'm just taking a little bit of ritual and story and just blending out those edges again. Okay, so now is for the exciting part. I'm gonna put a pop of shimmer in the center of my lid. I'm gonna take the sequin from the memory side. It is a black base, but it has a like silvery purple kind of reflex to it. It looks gorgeous. I'm hoping it's going to be enough to stick to my lid just with kind of like tacky concealer. I haven't set it or anything so hopefully it'll just apply really easily. I tried applying the sequins with my fingers so I really want to try with a brush this time around. I'm going to use a little flat brush and I'm going to try spraying it with a little bit of setting spray to see if that will help the glitter stick more and stay more vibrant and visible. It looks so pretty. It's going to be hard for you to pick up but it's so pretty, oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna quickly spray my brush with some setting spray. And let's pack this on the center of the lid and see if it looks as beautiful as it does in the pan. <laughs> Ooh, again, the pigment is so, so rich. It's really, really black. <laughs> Can you guys see the little glimmers? Oh my gosh. This looks beautiful. I'm just patting it on to see if I can really get that shimmer to show through. Oh my gosh, it has pink, blue, green. It has all the colors in there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, Jack. <laughs> Woo. Look at that glimmer. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. It's so subtle, but if you're in the right light, this will pick up and people will be like, ooh, because it's so, so pretty. And it, again, it just picks up on the light so nicely. I feel like the color did definitely benefit from me wetting the brush. I am considering using more glitter, but I think I should just step back and let the sequin shade shine for a second. No pun intended. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead, do the other eye on my base and everything, and then we'll finish up the eye look. All right, so I finished up this eye with the under eye, and I'll just show you guys what I did. I first went into the matte shade on the storyline and blended that from the outer to inner corner. Then on a fluffy brush I took the matte from the soothe line and I just blended out the story shade and also kind of connected the outer corner. Then I went in with a brown eyeliner pencil and I really packed it on the lower lash line. I brought it slightly outside my actual waterline. Then I took a tiny brush and the matte shade from the Ritual line and I really buffed and blended out that eyeliner to make it really smoky. Then I decided I wanted to play with the metallics and I really wanted to switch it up. So I first went into the metallic on the Ritual shade and buffed out that brown shade that I'd already laid out. Then for the inner corner, I took the Aura metallic shade and just popped that 
in my inner corner. And then for the inner third of the eye, I went in with the Soothe Metallic. And honestly, I think this is one of the nicest golds ever. It's such a pretty shade. And then I just added some mascara. And that was it. Okay, I have not done a smoky eye in a while, and I am in love with this. One thing I do just wanna note is when I put the sequin shade on my lid, and away did my base. When I came back, it had transferred, but it's because I have hooded lids, so that's not really a fault of the product. But just to let you know that there was a little bit of transfer from the sequin shade. I did go in and blend the edges so it wasn't like a harsh line or anything. Maybe try a tacky base if you want to make sure that the sequin shades kind of stay put. But yeah, this is the completed eye look. What do you guys think? Now that I've played with these shades a little bit more, I think I have formed an opinion. So I just want to talk you through my thoughts. So let's zoom you guys out and let's get right onto it. Well, what are my thoughts about this? palette. As far as the colour story, I really like it. It's a neutral palette with a little bit of variation where we have like really orange tones and they're kind of like purpley, burgundy kind of colours. They're very pretty. I love the fact that you've got everything that goes together, like these colours are very complementary. I love the fact that there's a colour story for every single tone that we have in here. And you have different finishes for those tones as well. I really enjoy that. In some palettes that you buy, you may have a tone that you want, but it's a metallic and you want it in a matte. Tones don't all complement each other, but with this you don't have that problem. Uh, which I really appreciate. The matte formula is really good. The only one I had kind of trouble with was the Ritual shade and it was just because of my brush more or less. That is one thing to note with this kind of formula. I found with the mattes they are very, very blendable. But if you go in with two big of a brush and you're using multiple shades it can blend a little too much and they can kind of mix together so I think the key to using these shadows would be using smaller brushes. If you're using just one shade like in the crease and then one over the lid I don't think it'd be that much of an issue but if you want to kind of mix the tones and create maybe more of a blended custom shade it would be better to use smaller brushes so you don't kind of get it too blended everywhere you know. I think the metallics and the mattes they're easy. I feel like there is a little bit of a learning curve with the sequins and the glitters. Even though the glitters are pressed and they're easy to pop on the lid I would still suggest using a glitter glue or doing your eyes before you put on the foundation. I personally have used the glitters without any glitter glue and I found that they stayed on my lids fine but I did get a few specks of fallout but that is completely expected like you get that even with liquid shadow sometimes so for a pressed glitter to have as little fallout as these do is pretty impressive and obviously with the sequins it's a matte base with a glitter in it so it's just a matter of pressing it on the lid and using maybe a damp brush like I did earlier that really helps secure the glitter in the shadow and it didn't fluff everywhere so if you want to use these shades maybe try doing that technique yeah i really like the format i really like the colors apart from maybe the story mattes i don't know they're just very they just they just remind me of a tomato and i don't know how i feel about it like it looks nice blended out with the crease but i don't know if i would ever put these like all over the lid or anything but that's just me but yeah i really like this palette as i said i have tried it a few times outside of this video so i have been using this and i have been trialing it because i wanted to get a sense of the palette as well in my day-to-day -day life so i have been using it my only other kind of qualm with this is the packaging it's uh, already dirty i've already got other makeup on it but it does feel nice and it's weighted and also the mirror in here is friggin massive. Hello, I'm gonna blind you with my softbox. <laughs> it is huge, okay? It is huge. I love the fact that it is weighted. It does feel heavy, but one thing I do have to say is my hand hurt after doing this video because I'm holding the eyeshadow palette like this while I was trying to do my eye makeup and it is heavy while you're holding it. So I would suggest setting it down so you can see what you're doing, but obviously you can't bring it up close when you're doing that then. That's just one thing to bear in mind. Maybe have a little handheld mirror if you want to get up close and personal with your eyes while using this palette. Do I think it's worth the price? Mm. I personally think it is quite an expensive palette but it does feel expensive. I would probably pay the price again. You know I did buy this with my own money and after playing with it and seeing it in person I definitely would buy it again and also the pigment and the blendability, everything like that. I feel like it is a really good, versatile palette that I can use every day. But also, if there's a special occasion, I can just take this and just bam, 
got all the glitter I will ever need. <laughs> so yeah, that is my overall thoughts on this palette. What do you guys think? Have you purchased it? Have you tried it? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely going to be playing with this some more. If you want any more videos on it, please let me know as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up so I know. If you're new to the channel and you like videos like this and you're makeup obsessed like me, then why not subscribe? All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys.